Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and 7 Questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Questions with Emmy. Today I'm here at Bally's talking with Farrell Dillon. He is a very amazing magician. Um, he performs here at Bally's um, in the Magic Attic on Thursdays through Mondays. That's right. He was born and raised in California. Yep. And then he moved to Boise, Idaho. Potatoes. Yeah. Yum. And then he recently, like, was it four months ago? Uh, six months ago, we started this show here. You're a very good comedian and magician. Thank you. It's both in one. It's very amazing. My Thank dad you. got to actually go on the stage. With yes, he did. <laughs> it was awesome. He did a good job, too. He was very funny. Okay, should we get started with questions? Yes, let's get started with some questions. Question number one. How did you get into magic? I've been doing magic ever since I was 12 years old. And my first, like, my mom bought me a deck of cards, right? And it had a cartoon character on it named Garfield. I know Garfield. You know Garfield? Okay. So it was like a Garfield magic deck of cards, and it did a whole bunch of magic tricks. And when I got it, I went, oh, thank you, Mom. And then I put it away. And then one day when I was really bored, I found it again. And I was like, huh, let me look at this thing. And I started learning some tricks from the deck of cards. And uh, I got really fascinated with it because I was like, oh, now I know things that like other people don't know how to do. And I would show the magic tricks and I just got like really into it. It was like lightning. I went, wow, this is great. And it just expanded my world. Question number two, what's the biggest thing you've learned doing illusions? Uh, how to um, adapt to any situation. So like sometimes things don't go right. Right, but if you can uh, think about like, oh well, you know, it didn't go exactly right, but I can do it a different way to make it end up right. Right, you just have to like think on your feet, and that's really like magic's really taught me how to do that because sometimes uh, you know I want things to go in a certain direction, but sometimes they have to go in a different direction to get the outcome that I want, and so that really helps that. Question number three. What do you do when something goes wrong during your magic act? We were just talking about that. Uh, so I never admit that something went wrong, right? Because it's your comedian. You right, and also, that's it. right, I can joke about it. Or uh, I don't say that anything went wrong because people don't know what they're going to see, right? And they don't know the truth. And if they don't know what they're going to see, they don't know that it messed up, right? So that's kind of where I go, well... It didn't end the way I wanted it to, but they didn't know that anything went wrong. Because you're a magician, and you can, it's like you can make up magic tricks. That's right. I didn't see any mess-ups. Did you mess up in this show? I mess up in every show. Which, what part did you mess Can't up? Can't tell you. Okay. But every show, no show is absolutely perfect. And that's the beauty of it, is that like you didn't know anything messed up, right? But there were a few big mess-ups in the show tonight. And, but nobody knew because I'm the only one or Amanda's the only one that knows that something messed up because we try to cover it. How did you get your show here in Las Vegas? Oh, okay. So before I did this show, I was in another show called Masters of Illusion, right? And it's a TV show that's on the CW network every Saturday. In fact, on Saturday, while I'm doing the show here, I will be on a TV show on the CW network at the same time. We're going to have to watch. Yeah. And so I'm on this TV show called Masters of Illusion. But uh, before that, we did a, a magic show here at Bally's, and it was downstairs in the big theater. And uh, the guy who was the uh, entertainment like executive for Caesars at the time, which is the company that owns Bally's, uh, he saw me in that show. And then one day he called me on the phone and said, would you like to do a show in Las Vegas? And I said, yes. Of course. Of course. Are you crazy? And so he brought me here to do this show. What's your ultimate dream? What is my ultimate dream? Um, well, I'm living my ultimate dream. This is the thing I always wanted. I always wanted to have a show in Las Vegas, and I always wanted to be able to do my own show and show people my, my magic tricks, right? And uh, I've been parts of shows before, and I love doing that. But to be able to do a whole show for people and show them all the things I want to show them, that's really was my ultimate dream, and I get to do that every day. Yeah, it's the best, fun. and you know what? You can do that too, because uh, all you have to do is focus. Like all I did was focus on one thing, 
And if you put all your focus on one thing, it's amazing what you can do with that one thing. Question number six. For people who have never been to your show, what should they expect? To laugh a lot? Yes, I was right. <laughs> Yeah. A lot of people think, oh, it's just a magic show. But then they come here and they, there's a lot of laughing. My brother, he was dying to laughter. Like, this, as soon as you did your first anything, he was like on the floor laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, that's my goal. I so was too. Everyone I want people was. to be amazed. I want them to go, wow, I don't know how he did that. And it was really funny. And so, like, it's both things. That's what I want to be able to do. Question number seven. You are known from I. You sorry. Uh, you are from Idaho. What's the biggest difference between Idaho and Las Vegas? The heat. I know. Yeah, it's crazy. When we got here, I'm like, oh, it's so hot in I here. I know. Yeah, it's very hot here. Um, that's not just the biggest difference, but that's one of the the biggest differences. It's also uh, Las Vegas is a desert, right? Yeah. It's very flat. Like there's no mountains or any. I mean, there are mountains out like outside of but Las there Vegas, are but more mountains in Idaho. Yeah. But we love, uh, I love Las Vegas. It's really awesome here. Um, people are very, very nice. So, but the biggest difference is definitely the heat. That's probably the biggest difference yeah. between here and a lot of places, except for maybe Arizona. Okay, now I have some bonus questions. Okay, bonus questions. Okay, what is your favorite illusion to do? My favorite illusion to do? Yeah, of all time, um, even if it wasn't in the show. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I do this really cool trick that I can't do here because the, the theater's uh, very intimate here, like very small. Yeah. Uh, but I do this trick with um, some chairs that like, I make a bunch of chairs appear out of a small box, like big chairs that you can sit on. I really like that one. Like those stools that were in there? Yeah, sort of like that. I really like that trick too. Yeah. Um, what's some advice you can share with me? Um, well, I already shared some. Basically, uh, you know, w like, if you really like doing something, do it every day and practice it every day. I do this almost every day. Yeah. Do you like doing this? I love doing this. Okay. When I grow up, I'm going to be a reporter. Awesome. And see, that's all you have to do is you have to just keep doing it every day. You know what happens when you do it every day? You get really, really good at it. Can you show me some magic? Yes. I thought you would never ask. All right. Emmy, here. Oh. Okay. We're going to do a card trick, okay? Okay. So look, uh, go ahead, pick one out. I'm gonna pick. Whichever one do you want. That one right there. Okay, show it to the camera, all right? Don't let me see it, though. There you go. Make sure he gets it good. All right. Now, Emmy, look. Yeah. I'm going to run my thumb along the cards like this. Just say stop somewhere in the middle, okay? Stop. Perfect. Put your card back right there. Okay, watch. It goes in the middle. Now watch. All I have to do is snap my fingers. Watch. When I snap my fingers, one card jumps from the middle up to the top. Boom. Was that it? Yeah. Here, I'll do it again, okay? So watch the queen. See it? Yeah. Okay, here, let's get this the camera on it, right? So look, queen goes in the middle. Watch, Emmy. Just a snap. Look, it comes back up to the top. Here, we'll do it one more time, okay? But look, this time, look, Emmy. I'll leave it so that it's sticking out, okay? I'll put it in right there. Here, go ahead, push it in. Now watch, Emmy. Oh, wait, hold on. That's a joke here. That's not it. Hold on. <clears throat> well, yours was, it was the queen of diamonds, right? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Was it cool? Yes. All right. Make sure you come to Valleys and you can come meet Farrell Dillon. He's an amazing magician. Thanks so much for talking with me. Thanks for talking with me. Bye. Awesome. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.